Good morning, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. It is a Monday, December the 10th. Wow. Um, we were encouraged by our pastor yesterday to hand out, um, um, Lord have mercy, pamphlets, you know, like of the gospel. Can't even think of the word for it. I'm losing my mind this morning. Anyway, it made me want to come in here today and just read you what is on ours. And I wanted to tell you, if you're local, if you live in the Dallas, uh, Paulding, or let's see, Paulding, or Douglas, or Cobb, or Polk, and you're nearby, um, that you could always join us in our church. I'm inviting you to our church. Our church is called New Vision Baptist. It's on Highway 61 um, in between Dallas, of course, and um, see, I guess that would be the next Villarica. It's in between Dallas and Villarica on 61. Um, and I just wanted to invite y'all because tomorrow we're having a women's um get together for Christmas. We'll have refreshments and it'll be at six o'clock. So that's December the 11th at six o'clock in Paulding County. So if you're a woman and you're local to the area, come and join us uh, tomorrow night at six o'clock. Um, and we go to New Vision Baptist Church and that is a Villarica Highway, Dallas, Georgia address. If you want to type that into your GPS, um, but we are going to, he encouraged us yesterday uh, to remember that if we are Christians, um, that we should uh, tell people about Christ. And so many Christians today um, do not tell others and they do not witness and they think that is up to, you know, the pastor or people in the ministry or everybody but themselves. But let me just say this, if you're saved, then um, uh, I'll give you this as an example. If you're an apple tree, you bear apples. If you're a Christian, you should bear Christians. And the only way you can do that is to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the time of year that it's the easiest time to spread the news. I mean, for us as, you know, it's an easy time. People are joyful and thinking about Christ being born and thinking about Christmas. There are people in the United States that have been raised where they really don't know. Um, there's plenty of people, even if it's available to them, that they really don't know the way of salvation. Um, there's people in the church that's been in the church their whole life, and they don't even know how to lead somebody to the Lord. There's people in the church that really don't know what salvation is. They've heard, are you saved? But they really don't know what being saved is, and they really don't know how to, um, whether or not they're saved. Um, because so many pastors today preach what I say. They're, they do sermonettes instead of sermons to where the people um, really are not convicted, and they don't know what, uh, uh, they're not told about sin enough. Um, and they don't feel convicted. They don't feel the need to have a Savior. Um, they go to church, and it's all a feel-good place. Um, and let me just say this. Anytime you pick up and read God's Word, um, you are going to feel convicted um, because God is just and we are not. Okay? There's nothing just about us. Okay? Okay? So I just want to tell you, according to the Word of God, it is like a sword. Do you see the sword on the front of my Bible? Um, it should be like a double-edged sword. And when you hear the words of the Lord, you should be convicted. Now, as a Christian, if you are saved and you know what being saved is, then you should spread the news of the gospel. And you should tell people the good news of Jesus Christ. Um because it's not just him being born in a manger. Um, it's not just him, um, let's see, uh, being uh, raised from the dead. And um, 
it's not just about Christmas and Easter. It's also about the, the fact that he shed his blood and he was an ultimate sacrifice for the sin of the world. That is what salvation is about, okay? He was not a professor. He was not a prophet. He was an actual, uh, he was actually God in the flesh. Um, and you need to uh, believe that, okay? Um, I posted a video today that was a previous video that I did months ago on how to be saved, how to be born again, and what it means to be born again. Um, I would love for y'all to watch the video um, and share the gospel with somebody. That would just be a blessing. I'm going to read what's on the back of this card that we're going to start handing out, you know, when we're going to the grocery store or when we're in the pharmacy or when we're wherever we are, um, we should think about those who are lost because it's a real thing. There's a real thing that's heaven and there's a real thing that's hell. And we need to let people know um, we, we need to love others. And a lot of people think it's mean to say that people would go to hell. Let me say this. If you're a Christian and you don't spread the gospel and you don't, uh, and you're, and you, you are not ashamed, you, you can't be ashamed of the gospel or be ashamed to tell somebody about Christ. You're the one that's being mean because it's real. Okay, and you want these people to be in heaven one day and to know who God is because Jesus gives us life and he gives it to us abundantly. And if without Jesus, we can't have the joy and the peace and the love that we have in our everyday life that we need. And we also will die and go to a sinner's hell. And we don't want that for anybody. It is not mean to talk about hell. It is mean not to tell people um, how they can keep from going to hell. Um, and yes, uh, Carolyn, you are right. The truth is never popular. It wasn't popular when Jesus was walking the earth. It wasn't popular when the disciples were given the good news. I mean, they were persecuted. They were hung. They were stoned. They were, you know, but, and it's not, and it's not, uh, popular today because it is our nature uh, to sin and it's our nature not to want to hear about the good news of, of the Bible. I mean, it's just our nature. Um, so I'm just going to write this and we're going to say our prayer today. Please watch the video that I posted earlier today. It's called God's plan for you. You must be saved. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You cannot save yourself. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 and 9. For grace, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We don't save anybody, okay? The preacher don't save anybody. Um, there's nothing that saves anybody but faith. You can't have faith without the Word of God, okay? It's God who gives us the faith we need to be saved, and we can't do that without hearing the words of the Lord. So you can't, getting saved is just not some feel good, oh, I think I'm going to believe in Jesus today and trust Him as my Savior. That's not what salvation is, okay? So y'all need to watch the video so that you know if you really are saved. Can you remember a time when you were saved? Did it change your life? Okay, because it, it's a big deal. Okay, it says Jesus Christ is the only Savior. Romans 5, 8 says, But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ is the only way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. That's from Christ's own mouth. If you do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, if you were raised in a different religion, religion won't get you to heaven. You need to know who Jesus Christ is. There are so many people that do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Let me just say this. It is so evident that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Our timeline 
is all about Jesus Christ. It's before Christ was born or after Christ was born. Christ had a huge impact on this earth, and it was not because he was a prophet. It was because he was God born in the flesh. It was because he gave his life for us. You'll never believe it, and you'll never understand it if you don't pick up the word of God and read it. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. You cannot have the faith that you need to be saved without reading the word of the Lord. Okay? And so it says you can be saved right now. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you are interested in salvation, if, you are in, if you're a Christian and you believe you're saved, Please watch my video today. Please start sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ so that we have a bigger church family, so that more and more of us will get to heaven. If you have the love of Christ, please do not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Please spread the good news. Don't feel like it's wrong to tell people about hell. It's wrong for you not to tell people about hell. Hell's a terrible place, and we don't want people going there. Okay, y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you have a blessed day. Even if this is about salvation, don't look at it negatively. If you're going to look at it negatively, you're looking at it like your sinful nature would. Look at it in a positive way because it's real. Salvation is a wonderful, wonderful gift that God has given us through his son, Jesus Christ. If it weren't for his son, Jesus Christ, we would not be having Christmas this year. So remember he is the reason for the season. Be excited to tell people who he is. Be excited to tell people the good news. That's how he wants us to be. That's what he saved us for, not just for our own personal satisfaction. He saved us because he wants us to worship him and tell others about him. Okay? It's not about us. It's about him. So let's remember that this season. Um, we're going to say our prayers. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Me and Chris have a very busy week with work, um, and we're going to get a lot done. I hope y'all say prayers for us that we will, and um, I'm just happy that God gives me the opportunity every day um, to talk about him, and I fail him because I don't come on here every day like I should. I let time get in my way. I let my schedule get in my way, and he should be the one that's number one in my life instead of these other things that I let get in front of him. We're all guilty um, and we have to be mindful and put him first. Okay. We're going to say our prayers. If it weren't for Jesus Christ, we couldn't go to the father directly through prayer. We would still be separated from him. We do not have to go into somewhere and go through somebody else to say a prayer to Jesus Christ. He broke the veil. He made it possible. He, he is our intercessor. Um, we can pray and everything that we pray through Jesus Christ gets to the Father. Okay, So remember that. You don't have to have somebody pray for you. You do not have to go to a church and go to confession you do not have to pray that way. You can pray through Jesus Christ, and it gets up to where it needs to be. So remember that today. Say your prayers, and let's all um, trust in the Lord, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for your Word, because without your Word, we wouldn't be pricked in our hearts. We wouldn't know what was spiritual in this world. Your Word is a spiritual book. And without it, we would be lost. Uh, we thank you for your word. We thank you for preserving it throughout the ages and forevermore so that people will know who you are and what your will is for our life. So many people seek for your will when your will, your number one will, is that we would come to know you as our personal Savior and we would spread the good news. And so many of us can't even get that right. I don't know why we expect for to be shown something different um, because that is the biggest miracle you've ever given us and we should be thankful for it. 
Um, thank you for this world that you have made for us to live in and the wonderful things that we enjoy each and every day. Um, when I made my tea this morning and I was slicing up the strawberries to go in my tea, I was thinking you're a wonderful God because you made so many things for us and we never give you credit enough. Just like those beautiful strawberries and that wonderful taste that they have. Without you, Lord, putting those on this earth, we would not even know what a strawberry tastes like. We need to be more mindful that everything that we have, everything that we do, and everything around us, we have it because of you. Uh, may you be with us and our families as we go throughout this day. May everyone listen and heed your word. And may those who are not saved want to be saved today. Because there's nothing better than knowing that we are, con con um, we are sealed to the day of your redemption. And that we will see you one day in heaven. And heaven is going to be a beautiful place for us to live and you've told us that you've gone there to prepare a place for us. And if it were not so, you wouldn't have told us so. And we should know that in our heart and look forward to that day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I love all of y'all very, very much with my heart and with God's agape love as well. I thank you for everything you do. I thank you for watching my shows. I thank you for watching this Bible study. And I thank you for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Y'all have a wonderful day and I love you. Bye.